Hello, Sentient Nerds. Welcome back to Sentient Engineering. We're continuing from our last video on mass balance, and we're going to be doing another example on mass balance. So today we have this example from Richard Felder, Chemical Process Analysis, as usual. And we're in Chapter 2 now, so we're going to be doing a mass balance on a distillation process, so a bit of uh, separation processes, which we'll see in the future. So we see 1 kilogram, 1,000 kilograms per hour of a mixture of benzene, B, and toluene T containing 50% benzene by mass is separated by distillation into two fractions. The mass uh, flow rate of benzene in the top screen is 450 kilograms benzene per hour. And that of toluene in the bottom screen is 475 kilograms of toluene per hour. Operation is at steady state. Write the balances on benzene and toluene and calculate the unknown component flow rates and the output streams. Okay, so go ahead and um, pause the video and see if you can try to get the answer first. And skip to uh, skip to the answer if you think you got it. Okay, I'm gonna give a hint in about three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to write the mass balance. So the first thing, just always write the mass balance. Mass balance. And when in doubt, accumulation equals in minus out. Plus generation minus consumption so just just get a tattoo of that or something because you're gonna get you, you better get used to better get used to seeing that equation so from steady state we can assume that accumulation is zero because that's in steady state so talk about steady state that means that there's no generation or there's no buildup in the system we're going to assume that there's no reaction so that would get rid of the generation and consumption terms no reaction. So our working equation is in minus out equals zero, or just in equals out. So that's going to be summing up all the terms going in and all the streams coming out. So now the next thing we've got to do is we got to, this, is, this should really be the first step, you want to draw your system. Okay, so if you got this far, then try to draw by yourself. Um, so I'm going to continue by drawing it. So in the beginning we have this feed. So this is the feed. And this is the top. This is the distillate. Distillate. And the bottom feed is going to be F. Bottoms. So what this distillation column is doing, what this column is doing, it's taking the feed and it's separating it into the distillate and the bottoms. Okay. So now we have to plug in what our values are. So the mixture of benzene, so let's do benzene will be blue for benzene. 50% okay. benzene by mass. Okay. So this is going to be 50% benzene. And then we can say, <clears throat> we're going to call this the feed of benzene. Okay. And we're going to call this the distillate of benzene. Distillate of benzene. And we have a value for that. It's actually going to be 450 kilograms benzene per hour. And we have some benzene in the bottom. So bottom benzene is unknown. Kilogram benzene per hour. Okay. And now let's have a toluene. Let's just use orange for toluene. So now this is going to be 50% toluene, let's call it uh, the feed of toluene, and there's going to be distillate of toluene, it's unknown, and we have distillate of, we have bottoms of toluene, excuse me, bottoms of toluene, and the bottom of toluene is going to be 475, 475 kilograms toluene per hour. Okay, so now what we have to do is do our mass balances. There's three things we can do here. So let me do the first one. The first one is going to be the overall mass balance. Overall mass balance. OMG, more like OMB. <laughs> okay. So the overall mass balance is the overall feed, everything in black. Okay. So it's going to be summation of feed is equal to the summation of everything going out. So the feed is equal to D plus 
B, right? So whatever flow rate this is, is equal to this flow rate, the distillate, plus the bottom's flow rate. And we actually have something for feed. This is actually going to be 1,000 kilograms per hour. 1,000 kilograms per hour. So we can write that in here. And we don't have D and B yet, but as you can tell, we're doing a system of equations. So once we figure out those out, we can come back and calculate this guy. So now we're going to do the, we're going to do the benzene balance. Benzene balance. So similarly, we have the benzene here in the feed, and we have distillate benzene and bottom's benzene. So similarly, it's going to be the feed benzene, the feed benzene, <laughs> is equal to the distillate benzene plus the bottom's benzene. Bottom's benzene. I can't say that word. Okay, and we can plug some stuff. We can plug some stuff in. So we have fifty percent by mass of the feed is benzene. So fifty percent of one thousand. So fifty percent of one thousand. So we're going to do zero point five times one thousand is the feed, and the distillate benzene is four hundred fifty kilograms. Per hour. And I should do the units here as well. And look, we have an equation here. So 50% of 1,000 is 500. So we have 500 equals 450. And we don't know bottom's benzene. Bottom's benzene. But we can subtract and find out that bottom's benzene is 500 minus 450. So the bottom's benzene is actually going to be 50 kilograms per hour. And it makes sense, right? Because if you plug it in, we have 500 equals 450 plus 50, which we just solved for. And that is the complete mass balance. And now similarly, we can do the uh, we can do the toluene balance. So let's do the toluene balance. We're kind of squeezing everything here, but I, I think this is an okay problem to do. Toluene balance. And it's gonna be the same mass balance. So we're gonna add the feed toluene is equal to the distillate toluene plus the bottom's toluene. And similarly, this 50% of 1,000 is again 500. And the distillate toluene, this time we don't know, but we do know the bottom's toluene is going to be 475. 475. So we know the distillate toluene is going to be 500 minus 475 kilograms per hour. So the distillate toluene is now. 25 kilograms per hour. Okay, so we have some solutions. We have the distillate toluene, and in fact, let's plug this in. I'm going to use green as answers. So we have this distillate toluene is going to be, uh, which we just solved as 25 kilograms per hour, and this bottom's benzene is going to be. 50 kilograms per hour. And now we have completed what we're solving for. If you don't see it, well, the distillate is only composed of benzene and toluene. So now we can say that the distillate, the distillate is going to be the benzene plus the toluene. And we can say that the bottoms, the bottoms is going to the bottoms benzene plus the bottoms toluene, right? And we simply have to add them up and we get our answer. So this is me 450 plus 25. So the distillate is going to be 450 plus 25, which is 475. And we have this equation, but remember, we also have our overall mass balance equation. So I can either use this or this to do our calculation, but let's do both so we can verify. So bottoms is going to be the bottoms of benzene, which is 50 plus 475 so that's going to be uh, about 525 right so now our mass balance is going to be as a check so these are our answers kilograms per hour kilograms per hour so these are our answers but as a check we're going to want to do V is equal to distillate plus benzene the same mass balance over here um, and that's going to be, well, it's a thousand is equal to 475 plus 525, which does in fact add up, right? Makes sense, right? 
And that does answer the question. So we are in fact done. So this is our answer. Unknown component flow rates of the output streams. But I'm gonna take it a little step further and talk about the mass fractions. So a little side note on Okay, so recall that mass fraction could either be written x or w of some component, and it's going to be the mass of that component divided by the total mass of that stream. Okay, so as an example, the mass fraction of benzene in the feed is going to be the mass of benzene in the feed, which was 500 divided by the mass of the feed, which is, so let me write that down. So it's going to be the mass of benzene in the feed divided by the mass of the feed, which is going to be, which we said was 500 over 1,000. And that gives us 50%. So that checks out because that's what we calculated and that's what was given in the problem. What about the mass fraction of benzene in the distillate? Well, similarly, it's going to be the mass of benzene in the distillate divided by the mass of the distillate. The mass of the distillate we discovered was 475, so that's the denominator, 475. And the mass of the benzene in the distillate was 450. So we're going to divide these two numbers. We're going to divide these two numbers. So we have 450 divided by 475 is 0.94, so that's about 94%. And let's also do the mass fraction of the toluene in the distillate. So the, the denominator will be the same, it's going to be the mass of the distillate, and the numerator will be the mass of toluene in the distillate, which will be, well, we found out it was 225. 25 divided by 475 and wait a second if this is 94 percent and this is mass fraction i have a feeling that this should be about six percent so let me calculate what this would be so the denominator is the same so this is going to be 25 divided by 475 and it's about six percent so i'm going to round that up to about six percent so notice how the mass fraction of the benzene is this guy Plus the mass fraction of the distillate adds up to 100%. So the mass the mass fraction of the benzene and the distillate plus the mass fraction of the toluene and the distillate adds up to 100%. And 100% is just one. So we have one final equation here that if you sum up all the mass fractions in a stream, you should always get one. And as we'll see later on, that's going to be very useful because that gives us an extra equation to work with. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.